want to give a boxer outlook for Errol Spence Jr., who is the unified IBF and WBC current welterweight champion of the world, who is about to go into a fight with Manny Pacquiao in August. And initially, everybody thought that that would have been for the WBA strap, which uh, we find out that they're not going to elevate him. Which it kind of confused a lot of people because, you know, on their press conference, you've seen Pacquiao with a belt. So it's like, okay, what is that? My take is, man, maybe that was just for show. I don't know. But I got to look further into this, man. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll, um, they still weeks out. So maybe they'll try to do that. And maybe they'll try to elevate them. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that, but I don't know. But here's the thing, um, Errol Spence. Uh, you know, he fought at 154 early on, went down to 147, started running through a lot of dudes early on in his uh, campaign at 147. Um, I would say things started to really um, pick up for Errol Spence when he fought Kell Brook. That was his kind of like breakthrough. Beat Kell Brook. Um, I forgot what round that fight was stopped in. I think it was stopped in the ninth, I think. I think it was a ninth round stoppage. Not sure. Then that's when he got his first strap, the IBF welterweight championship belt. And then, you know, he went on, he, he, uh, went on to fight Sean Porter for the WBC. He had some fights in between that. Had a fight with, uh, Mikey Garcia, defending his title. Um, he, you know, a lot of people gave him a lot of credit, uh, cr- uh criticize, criticism for fighting Mikey Garcia, you know, by not knocking him out. You know what I find strange though, to be honest, you know, I'm not a fan of none of these boxes. I'm, I, 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 I like some of them more than I like others. But a lot of people give Terrence Crawford a lot of hell. They talk about, you know, who has he fought? at 147 you know um he struggled with this box so this boxer exposed him and this and this and that and third but then uh when Errol Spence couldn't knock out Mikey Garcia the way he said he was then a lot of Errol Spence fanboys make excuses to why he couldn't knock out Mikey Garcia and I don't know man I think Bud probably would have stopped Mikey man more than likely he probably would have ended up stopping Mikey if they would have fought if that was Bud in there. That's just how I. Th- that's was an assumption, man. That's what I think. Nonetheless, you know, I don't blame Errol for not knocking him out. Sometimes you don't get the knockout. But I just hate when boxers say, "I'm gonna get the knockout. I'm gonna knock him out," and, and then they don't do it. Make him look a little funny, you know. Uh, he did watch Mikey. You know, he, he 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 whooped his ass the whole fight. It was it was humiliating to watch that. But you know, whatever. So. What's the outlook for Errol Spence Jr. moving forward, man? Um, he is uh, on his way out at 147, man. I believe he's outgrowing the division. A lot of people like to call Errol Spence a weight bully. Call it what you want, but he even said it. You know, he, he got a few fights left at 147, and he's moving up to 154. So, which brings up Terrence Crawford, who is... Uh, Right now, WBO welterweight champion. And I believe Yordinas Ugas is the WBA uh, champion as well. Let me check on. uh, Let me see again what Yordinas Ugas is holding. So it's looking like. um, From from what I can see. Here's the champion. Let's run it down again real quick. The ring champion at 147 is vacant. Um, the WBO held by Terrence Crawford the IBF held by Errol Spence Jr WBC held by Errol Spence Jr Jordanus Ugas is the WBA Super World Welterweight Champion and then Jamal James is the WBA World so that's what I was getting confused because I was like wait a minute I thought you know Manny Pacquiao was 
he was the WBA super. Then they elevated Ugas after Manny got stripped of the belt. So Jamal James is the WBA world. A lot of people give or take to say that's not a real championship belt, but I believe it's really the other way around. I believe the WBA, I believe the, the regular belts were around first. You know, I believe that those are the, indeed the real belts as well, but um, that's another topic for something else another day. So Jamal James and Jordanus Ugas are the champions that, uh, that hold the two WBA belts. You can look at it as Jamal James isn't recognized, but I'll still put him up there as a, as a champion anyway. And then that's it. So then, you know, you got to look at it like, okay, well, the path for Errol Spence has become undisputed. It's scattered. See, right now, man, 154 is pretty straightforward when it comes to uh, them that being an undisputed champion. Uh, it almost happened the other night with either Brian Gastano and Jamel Charlo, but it didn't happen. Then 135 is pretty cut and chase. Um, if you want to, if you don't want to include the regular belts, then it's pretty cut and chase between uh, Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez right now. But as we know, a lot of things have changed at 135 regarding Tiafimo, and I'll get to that in another video. So 135. It's looking like soon it's going to have some scattered belts. So, you know, this is what happens when fighters don't do what they're supposed to do. Then that's when things happen. Now, bro, I talked about this and I'm getting a little too far off into it. I'm going to that's another topic for another video. But back to Errol Spence, man. Um, he said he had a couple more fights left, man, at the division. He wants to become undisputed. So the only way he can do that is to fight Terrence Crawford and Jordanus Ugas. That's the only way. So, you know, this Manny fight is pretty much a money fight. It's not a legacy fight for fucking uh, Errol Spence. I don't see what the legacy is. You know, what's the legacy in, 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 in beating Pacquiao right now? I mean, he already been beaten. He's 42 years old. He's been beaten. There is no legacy. He doesn't have the belt. It's just a money fight. That really is. For Pacquiao, it would be a legacy, though, if he won. Not for Errol, though. This is how I see it. It'll be a, it'll be a legacy for for Pat. Um. So what I could see happening with Errol Spence, man, I see him going to 154. Um. I seen Terence Crawford being undisputed up there, and I see that Bud fight not. It's probably not gonna happen at 147. I don't think um, Terrence Crawford is good. I think Terrence Crawford's uh, career at 147 is nearing its end. He'll probably end up moving up. And I think uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is going to end up clashing heads up at 154. Uh, that's what I'm starting to think. I don't think it's happening at 147. It's not. Um, with that being said, though, um, Errol Spence might be... Uh, he, he, he might pose a threat to Terrence Crawford uh, by getting a few straps up there. I, I, I see Errol Spence uh, campaigning, doing pretty well. I think Terrence Crawford's going to do better at 154. Though. I think Terrence, I think Errol Spence is pretty much, his, form, his, his career at 154 is going to kind of look like the way his career is at 147. He's going to probably barely edge out a lot of fighters. You know, he's not going to really, uh, I don't think he's going to get, he's going he's gonna to get some KOs up there. I don't see him really doing that much KO work up there. Like, I see a lot of decision fights up there for Errol Spence. I don't know why, I just do. Um, but you got to also take into consideration, man. I know a lot of these dudes are draining their bodies to stay at this 147. A lot of them, uh, it, they might do better once they go back up to 154. It's closer to their natural weight. Um, that remains to be seen, but I think Terrence Crawford is gonna is gonna be a a bigger puncher at 154 than Errol is. Um, I I see Errol getting a couple of straps up there, but I see Terrence Crawford potentially um, getting in the way of Errol even being undisputed up there. But I also see Errol as a slight threat to Terrence Crawford being uh, undisputed up there. But I still think. Uh, Terrence Crawford will be undisputed before Errol Spence would at 154. That's just how I look at it. And I think he'll probably end his... I think uh, Errol Spence 
154. He'll probably push it to like 160. I, I can see him maybe making it up to 160. Um, I don't think he's gonna be undisputed up there though. I, I see him some some scraps going on up at 160. Not sure with who, but I see him fighting up at 160. Maybe a few fights, and then he'll probably end up retiring with maybe a 32 and 0 rec 32 record. I don't know about the O. Maybe he'll retire maybe 34 fights under his belt. Terence Crawford is at 37 and 0 right now, so. Um, I see Bud retiring with no losses. I don't know why I just see him retiring with an O on his record. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll have to see. But my general summary uh, on Errol Spence, the outlook for him, he's going to do subpar. He's going to be a subpar fighter at, at 154. He's not going to be a terrible fighter. He's going to do good. I just don't see the knockouts coming like that at 154. I see him getting decisions. Then I see him, uh, I don't really see him. I see him maybe, maybe unifying. I, I could kind of see the same thing happening with the way Terrence Crawford is right now. I could see it being the same way how they could be closer to becoming unified or, or undisputed bout between those two, the same way it is now. But I think it'll be a little bit closer I think Errol will probably grab up two belts up there, maybe. And then Bud will grab up two. And I think I potentially we will see that fight up there at 154. <clears throat> so you would probably see the Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence fight at 154 pounds. You will not see it at 147. Um, maybe another, maybe a 2023 or something like that. So in the 2022 Beginning of 2023, mid 2023, that's my prediction for an Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford fight. That's if Errol Spence actually wants to fight this dude at 154. He's saying he want to fight him at 147, but let's see after the Manny Pacquiao fight what happens. Let's see, you know, um, if they try to like okay. Do it right when they know he's with Al. I mean, he's still with Bob. Okay, let's do it like September. That's not going to work because you know he's still with Bob. Or they be like, okay, let's wait until he get he, his contract. Because I'll wait till November to try to reach out to Terrence himself. Well, let's see what happens, man. But anyway, that's my outlook on Errol Spence Jr., his boxer outlook. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Catch you guys later on the next one, man. And I'm off this.